Hey guys, if you guys have an Android smartphone that supports Treble, Project Treble, which is pretty much any Android phone in the last few years, then you can install Havoc ROM GSI. Right now, I've got it installed on my Galaxy S10, which I want to show you. I've also got it installed on my Xiaomi Mi 9. Um, you can go ahead and install on the Galaxy S9, blah, blah, blah. Let me go ahead and show you with the Galaxy S10, which is really easy to install. You can also install on all of the latest Exynos uh, or Snapdragon Galaxy uh, series, Galaxy S10, S20, Note 20, uh, Note 10, as long as you have Exynos or Snapdragon Chinese models, Chinese Snapdragon. If you have US models, you can install any of these awesome GSIs. I just suggest next time you buy a Exynos model. Let's go and take a look. Okay, so this is my Galaxy S10 running uh, GSI. Uh, what's really cool about this ROM is fingerprint sensor works. Um, it doesn't actually show you where the finger is, but it's really fast. And also a uh, face unlock works All right, real quick. So you can get both of those. You don't lose any of the uh, fingerprint or face unlock, which is really nice. Uh, Havoc ROM, this is based on Android 10.0. It is really fast. It's about 10% faster than Android 10 on Samsung uh, One UI because you don't have all that Samsung bloatware, basically all that stuff that slows you down. Also really, really good battery life. Uh, Android 10 there, which is really nice. Uh, I really love it. It's really fast. As far as Geekbench score, uh, it gets almost 787, which is almost like 12, 13% faster. You get around 700 with the uh, Android 10 on Samsung firmware. So you can expect much faster speeds. Um, that's why I run the custom ROM. As far as roots, uh, I got Majisk running perfectly. Now you do have to uh, install the latest beta version of Majisk. I do have a full tutorial guide on it. Uh, if you guys wanna root, you'll have full root. Uh, right now I haven't been able to get safety net uh, passed. All right, um, so that's something I'm working on. I'm not sure you can actually pass it. It could be because of the GSI. I might try other GSIs that allow me to pass it. Uh, but you can go ahead and use Majisk Hide to hide. As for camera, you can use go ahead and use like an older Google camera. Uh, then you still can get the older camera to work. All right. As far as video, you get 4K video recording on the back. Unfortunately, for front, you're not going to be able to get 4K yet. But you may be able to. I just got to look for the right version of a Google camera. You get that camera and also you get an AOC camera, AOSP camera, which you can use for the Galaxy S10 Exynos. Um, you get those cameras. With S20, you might actually be able to get uh, the latest Google camera working with nighttime and everything. Um, so you have to try it. I don't have an Exynos model of Gal Galaxy S20 a series at this moment. But yeah, really like my setup. Uh, the only issue is that you do have to sort of hide, you have to hide the cutout so you can actually see this, <laughs> you can actually this, see this part. So that's one thing that you're going to have to live with, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, you just lose like a tiny bit of your screen, but I uh, really like it. Everything runs fast, um, very good battery life. Like I said, this is actually going to be my daily driver for uh, Korea because this phone actually picks up 4G+. Plus here in Korea, all the 5G phones from the US, they don't actually work with the 5G in Korea. So and as far as customization, uh, you're going to be able to find it um, under PH, PHP treble settings where you can go ahead and enable extended brightness range, uh, enable extra sensors if you want, uh, enable stereo sound. And also uh, you can flash the auto brightness mod for Magisk, then your auto brightness works, which is kind of important. There's some miscellaneous features, of course. Uh, if you go into Configuration Center, this is where you're going to find all the Havoc ROM uh, customization. So you can um, change your clock, logo, add logo, double tap to sleep, uh, carrier label if you want. You can change the battery icon. Uh, you can just change it. I like it like circle. You can do circle dot it. Uh, you can add a battery bar if you want. Um, all that good stuff that custom ROMs you can expect. Uh, buttons is pretty huge. You, you can get gesture navigation if you want, two button, three button. Um, you can also customize all of your buttons if you use buttons. You can change the long press, double tap. Um, so that is really nice for all the back, home, and recents. All right, and you can enable flashlight. And there is a three finger screenshot, which is nice. All right, that's in here somewhere. Gestures, 
Notifications, you can customize everything, right? Or you can even get rid of notifications, kill out button. Battery saving actions, you can block sensors uh, for certain apps if you want. Uh, screen, you can go ahead and um, change the rounded values if you want. Animations, you can change. So there's a ton of things you can do with Havoc ROM, having that level of customization. Uh, the most important thing is performance and speed. I just find it much, much faster. You're almost getting the speed of Galaxy S20 uh, on a Galaxy S10. So this is a great way to upgrade your phone. If you don't tend to use any of the Samsung stuff, if your phone is slowing down from Samsung stuff, if you want a sort of more secure phone, if you want a custom phone, I think this is the way to do it, especially on Samsung devices, or you could do it on other devices like Xiaomi uh, or Pixel, all right? But everything nearly working flawless, I've had trouble. Like I said, I'm just looking for the latest version of Gcam that will work, and then this is gonna be real complete. But really love this ROM. Android 10. Also, you can go ahead and run Android 11 if you want. I'll have a video of Android 11 running on the Galaxy S10 also, and also the Xiaomi Mi 9. I also have instructions on how to install this GSI on all the pixels, so check that out too. But yeah, on a phone like a Xiaomi Mi 9, I mean, it's awesome because it, it works flawless out of the box. Everything works and it is so much faster. Um, so really like it. If you wanna have a performance of like a Galaxy S20, but you don't wanna spend so much money, you can grab like a Xiaomi Mi 9 on eBay for like, I think like two or 300 bucks. And you can save hella money, have the performance. You, you don't have to deal with carrier bloatware, Samsung bloatware, LG bloatware, all that. I think the Xiaomi's are actually where it's at now uh, in terms of price, performance, customization. I would never use the MyUI or MiUI ROM that comes with it anyways. But if you go ahead and use GSI ROMs, oh my God, it just makes your phone so much faster. I think this is actually the way to go. If you wanna save money, but have really good performance, Xiaomi phones is where the bang for the buck is. Check it out, GSI. Go ahead and try it. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. And as always, stay <laughs> on Android.